Today, we're going to look at the role of the on-set photographer. Our photographer's name is James Fisher. I'm the stills photographer, so I do all the still images alongside the movie cameras and uh, the publicity shots, all that kind of stuff. James has one of the favourite qualities I seek out in those people I collaborate with, and that is that creativity is an adventure. I'm shooting so fast, um, it's like being in the eye of a tornado. I have five minutes to look at what I do and move on to the next idea. Well, I guess you have to try and tell the story in a single frame. You'll just have a facial expression that'll tell the story. Maybe it's about leaving things out, because often with those big shots, it's, it's too complex to translate in a still image. So you have to just concentrate on what's the key moment. He had one of the great talents, as I think uh, an on-set photographer has to have, for being absolutely everywhere at absolutely all times, while at the same, absolutely never being seen or heard. It's a bit more like reportage. You have to kind of shoot in and around the scenario that's occurring without interrupting it too much or getting in anybody's way, which is really difficult to do because you're always faced with that question of whether to compromise your shot and risk compromising somebody else's. I think probably 90% of the quality images will come from the location shoot. I mean, here you have the most incredible sunsets and sunrises to work with, and everybody's excited all the time. Everything's real, the dust is real, the sunshine really burns, you know, and it gives the image a kind of a authenticity that you can't replicate later. Well, I'm averaging about 800 shots on a location day. So far, I've basically shot about three rolls of film, but otherwise it's digital all the way, which basically means my clients can see their images pretty much straight away. If they want to turn it around in five minutes, they can, although hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Apart from James Fisher's wonderful work, we were very fortunate to have legendary guest photographers, people like Annie Libowitz, Mary Ellen Mark, and a wonderful Douglas Kirkland. I've worked around the movies a long time. In fact, for more than 50 years, I've worked around films. And uh, this is probably my 80th or 90th film, and it's spectacular out here in Australia. You know, I, I've always loved uh, the Life magazine, visiting the set. And I sort of thought of myself like that. I ended up pulling a little bit away so you can see and you know it's a sound set. It's a little confusing and a little surreal because you, you get to see the clothes, but you see, you know, the edges of, of, of the making of the film. I, I find that all very, you know, intriguing and, and interesting and, you know, it's the best of movie making, so. I mean, I've been here many times and I thought I knew Australia. I knew nothing. I've been brought up here to this area, northwestern Australia in the Kimberley region, and it's, it's totally different and very, very exciting. I mean, look where we are here. This is, this is spectacular. I didn't know this existed.